Everybody, it's Linda here from the Scented Dove. Today I'm going to do some melt and pour um, because uh, I've been watching Louise doing her melt and pour soaps um, on YouTube, and I've also joined the Shout Out to Melt and Pour group on Facebook, which is a fabulous group of people um, who love to do melt and pour. And oh, the creations are just amazing. I mean, I, can't, I couldn't even, there would, I would never be able to in a million years get as good as those people on there. But I do like to work with colour and fragrance and so it's a good way to do that if you're interested in trying some melt and pour. Now, um, a couple of days ago I got a, a, a nice big lot of melt and pour in and so I've been making um, a few things. The first thing I tried, let me see if you're getting this in... Yes, um, a duck duck on the pond I've called it and of course you've got your little square of melt and pour and you put your duck in the middle the bottom is blue for the water and my little duck has a, got a beach ball and this one's got a snorkel because we live in a beach area um, a holiday area so um, I'm hoping that these will go well at my next market so that's the duck on the pond and that's fragrance for monkey farts because kids love that and um, these um, you might have seen on the Facebook the, the pineapple and orchid and I've just been following Louise's um, examples of how she makes her melt and pour copying her I guess you could say but she's inspired me to um, go ahead and, and make these and not be afraid to use colour and glitter and bits of um, uh, bits of your melt and pour curled up and grated up and put in your soap and it's just so much fun I love it I did do melt and pour about five years ago but um, I found that up here in, in um, the, the hot hum humid weather um, the melt and pour would just really sweat badly but now they have some fantastic low sweat melt and pour which doesn't have as much glycerin in it the, and this is one I made the other day I've called it happiness is I just think it's a really it's a happy little thing it's a fragrance with mm, angel which is one of my favourite um, perfumes uh, so that's a dupe of angel but it's I've called it happiness is and I've put lots of little embeds in there and and grated soaps so today um, because Louise has asked me to do a video I thought yes okay I will do one with melt and pour soap so I've got my melt and pour here now I do mine in a crock pot because um, I just find that it's easier I can have it on low and um, I don't have it um, well I actually I don't own a microwave present so I can't use a microwave because um, I don't have one so and that's why I'm using the crock pot but this is going to be in the fragranced in love spell dupe so I've got various I want it to be um, purple and white now this one is um, I've just grated up some, some melt and pour that I poured into a little mould the other day and put titanium dioxide. I only buy the clear melt and pour and I put the titanium dioxide in myself to make it white. And um, so I'm going to put one side with the lilac and one side with the white. And then um, I will pour this in. I've only just put a little bit of colour in there with some purple mica. And I'll go and get my love spell. Fragrance, where are you? Here you are. Now, I'm, I haven't measured this because oh, I love this. This is just my favourite fragrance of all. I'll just do this by smell. Yep. 
There we go, that's lovely. You don't need as much fragrance in melt and pour as you do in cold process and, and hot process. I may put just a little bit more mica in there. This is mica that I've, um, I have put some alcohol in. That's my rubbing alcohol there. And I buy Isocol here in Australia. It's quite expensive. That bottle cost me nearly $10.00. So you can see we really do pay a lot for our ingredients here. Um, the um, melt and pour is about $10 for a kilo, which is 2.2 pounds in your, in your um, calculations. So, um, you know, we really, it's hard for us to offer soap at a low price unless you're buying in bulk. You have to buy in bulk to be able to offer that okay so here we are I'm going to put this in here now I've tried to keep it at a reasonably low temperature like Louise I just, just it's just by feel and I didn't spray that with alcohol so I'll do that now <laughs> um, Oh, there's the phone, so I'll have to come back. Right, now I'm going to spray this with a little bit of alcohol and I'll just pour the rest of the um, melt and pour in there. It's, um, I'll, I'll pour all of it in because this, is, this has now become quite cool. So now we have that in there. And I'm going to let that sit and set up just a little bit before I pour this next layer in. And um, we'll see. I'll bring you back for that. Okay, back again now. I've had some of these um, little curls here uh, of white and the, um, the violet. And I've also got some shading. So I'm putting that in there now. And... I'm just making this up as I'm going along. It's quite wonderful, really. And you can just um, use whatever you like. It's, I think it's fantastic. So I'm going to put some more Love Spell in there. And for the top, I'm going to do um, stick these curly white pieces in the top. Dougal's barking now because the dogs are barking down the street. So I'll just spray that with alcohol and spray this with alcohol and this, this stops your layers from the layers of the melt and pour from separating. So I'll just pour this over the top and it's not too um, hot that it's going to melt those shavings because I don't really want them to melt otherwise you'd have porridge purple and white porridge in there and that's not the look we're, that we're looking for. Well, I'll have to ask, um, I don't quite know how I've measured that, I've not, not measured it right but anyway I'm going to put these, stick these in the top. I think they, they look really gorgeous when they're cut because they cut down middle so I'm going to go ahead and put that on now and then I'll put some some more melt and pour over the top and I'm going to sprinkle it with glitter because I love glitter I just adore it it's just so so nice to have a really pretty soap and and this is nice melt and pour too. It really is a lovely soak. Okay, so I'll bring you back. I don't want you to, to um, be sitting there watching me doing this. This is not hard. You, can, you all know how to do this. So I'll bring you back when I'm finished. Now I've brought you back for the final bit. I have added some, a few more of the little curls that I made of that. Uh, out of the pale lilac and the white. Just drizzled those on the top, sprayed with the mica, uh, the, um, sorry, mica, the alcohol. The mica and alcohol that I have left in my little 
container I've drizzled on the top and now I'm just pouring over the melted melt and pour glycerin soap over the top just to cement in those little curls and and make sure they're all in securely and that's it that's it so I will put some glitter on the top because I love glitter so it's going to go on the top oh it smells absolutely wonderful love spell is so pretty and to me it just spells love spell spells purple and white and that's my melt and pour and we'll see what it looks like tomorrow it'll probably be ready in about four or five hours but i'll leave it till tomorrow because i want it to be perfect so thank you for watching everybody i'm going to do a hot process soap now so I might see you for then. I might even video that. Bye-bye now.